Hey, this is Kevin here, back on my channel, Self Made Man. Today's video, I'm going to talk about how I knew I was trans, slash like how I knew I like girls. Before I get the video started, I'm going to talk about how I self-identify. I identify as a straight, heterosexual, trans man. I can get away with just saying that I'm a straight man because I pass so well. How did I know? My life as a kid was really me not really feeling like a girl, but knowing that I'm a girl just because of uh, the parts that I was born with and what people were calling me and you know the pronouns that people used to address me. I kind of went with the term tomboy just because it seemed like it fit and a lot of people just associated my mannerisms, personality traits with being a tomboy. When it came to my sexuality, I always knew I liked girls ever since preschool. Oh la la! In my first book, I wrote about the first girl that I ever liked. That was around, I would say like age four. So right before I started kindergarten. Book one ended when I came out as gay. This is when I still identified as female. I came out as liking girls, but I wasn't fully happy. I wasn't fully happy just knowing that I was gay or that I was a lesbian. You know, it, it just didn't fit the entirety of who I knew I was. When I got my first girlfriend, I went through an instant change with how I dressed and how I acted. I stopped caring if I didn't meet up to society's expectations of who I was supposed to be. During this time, I stopped caring about a lot of things. During my freshman year of high school, I started dating another girl who was my best friend that you can also read about in book one. The end of that year, me and her watched the show, not together, but you know, we talked about it and she was ahead of me. So she mentioned this character and the character's name was Max. Max was born female. Wait a minute. <gasps> but I didn't know that until she told me. And when I finally got to the part where I was watching Max, I was just amazed. I was like, I can't believe that somebody who felt the way I did was able to undergo types of different treatments and really just live authentically as themselves. It was amazing to see Max pass so well and for it to be acceptable. But just because I found out that I was trans doesn't mean that my life got easier. Yeah, sure, all the confusion stopped about who I was once I started doing my research on YouTube and listening to other trans guys. I started to worry if my girlfriend would still love me. I knew at the time that she identified her sexuality as being gay. I had different types of reactions over the course of coming out as trans and coming out as gay. So I've been out liking girls for a total of almost seven years now. I've been identifying as trans for about four and a half years now. Back then, before hormone replacement therapy, people didn't really respect me as a man just because they didn't see it. For a lot of people, seeing is believing because I wasn't showing those characteristics of a man, they weren't convinced. Just because I am three years on testosterone doesn't mean that I don't have far to go when it comes to accepting this life and you know the lifestyle that I've chosen for myself. Sometimes it's hard for me to deal with the fact that I have to be on hormones for the rest of my life, but I have to know that this is the best option for the cards that I've been dealt. I didn't have to transition, but I had to. I would have survived as female, but I wouldn't have lived. I would have been stuck behind the walls of femininity, trying to prove to the world and to myself that being female and being born this way was, you know, how it was meant to be. Being born that way was psychologically damaging for me because I automatically thought that that was the way that it had to be forever. I couldn't really imagine the future before testosterone. Now that I'm living my authentic self, I'm able to have so much more and open myself up to a lot more of what the world has to offer and really have very meaningful relationships in my life. Most importantly, happiness. In my next video, I am going to talk about the changes that I underwent when I started testosterone. So stick around for video four. Until next time, peace. Oh,